Honey, when taken in excess, becomes nauseating. You only need to ask someone who has binged on it to find out. I'm going to be talking about too close for comfort, the real test of COVID-19. While some are speaking of social distancing and the challenges associated with it, others are facing the strain of self-isolation, especially as we're poised, well, we're in the middle of the tunnel, um, which is called the extension to the original 14 days lockdown. I laughed when a friend said that the unspoken strain of coronavirus is a stress on relationships, on people who once had the luxury of time and space to themselves, but now are effectively on lockdown with family members hyperactive children, husbands getting to know their wives as if for the first time, and wives having to tolerate their restless husbands. As I write this, a friend informs me that there has been a spike in domestic violence across Europe. I have to admit, I'm a little shocked. It's certainly no laughing matter. I love my family, but I also love my space. Boy, do I love it. On this occasion, I say we have to find a way to have our cake and eat it for the sake of all our mental health. So here's my survivor's guide to self family isolation. Accept that things are not the way they were and stop trying to make them otherwise. Embrace the uniqueness of this time, savoring the timelessness of the moment, such as by enjoying a longer than usual conversation with people you would ordinarily be too busy to chat with. Ask how they are and actually be pre prepared to find out. Lock out fear. Refuse to be the dumping ground for negative, recycled, fake, unverified news. Make time for yourself, a walk, sitting on the balcony, or even take longer than usual in the bathroom. Now is an opportune time for reflection, and out of reflection, discovery. I'm convinced that coronavirus will inadvertently open up new horizons. You know what they say about necessity being the mother of all inventions. Yeah, um, I, love that. I love that part. Um, you know, fantastic tips on, the, on the how to survive uh, these, uh, the isolation, the isolation <laughs> especially if you are not one to sit there in one place. But uh, um, I adopted um, an approach. In the mornings, I come out to jog, you know. We we'll have a, a corona or quarantine group now who we'll, we'll <laughs> jog and walk together, do aerobics, you know. Not too many of us mm -hmm. do, uh, just a few of us within the same, um, you know, compound and neighborhood. And thereafter, we'll sit down, maybe sometimes do breakfast together. A few meters apart. Yes. No, 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 in the same, just we're friends in yeah, the yeah, same no, no, compound, you know, just about mm. two or three houses away. Mm. we we'll do breakfast together and use the opportunity to catch up on old times, you know, and then before you know it, this afternoon you go home, home refresh as if you're on break. Mm. And then, <laughs> you know, in the evening, we'll come back again. Would um, do a few walks around the estate. Thank God, um, I'm, uh, thanks to my estate people, the estate is tired now. So we we'll do a few walks around, and then just again. Before you know, it's nine, and so, and then you get back home. Sometimes watch one or two movies with my kids. So I just see it as, you know, holiday periods. Uh, and then also, I have always. Uh, I'm used to walking from home. You know, once in a while, something I've, I've tried to practice, you know, when I started on my own, I actually started from home. And, and so it's not been too difficult for me to adapt, you know, just that there is no money, um, you know, no work, no money. And then um, you have to rely on a few friends. And there's so many barrage of requests from friends, relatives, you know, thinking that, oh, this man that we see on free, TV, free, free you know, advice. he must have so much. <laughs> you know, so a lot of people, there are so many things you can do. I find that, like we always say, we have people say, Oh, learn something, do something. Sometimes there is no light even to yes. do something, to do, learn yeah. some of these things. Mm -hmm. But I also have adopted, like I said, adopt a village mentality where you go out in the community, village, sit under the tree, five of you, you know, and then, you know, chat away. Enjoy the yeah. Retirement. I, 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 let, let me say, because yeah. I, I saw a tweet by someone um, advocating now oh, during this period, there's time for you to learn something new, write yeah. a book, <laughs> yeah, right you know, do all yeah. of that. Good advice. Um, you know, and, and, and I think it was the, the what's her name, J.K. Rowling, the Harry okay. Potter actor that, you know, retweeted and said, made a comment. And I 100% agree with her. Said some people just need to get through this period alive. Yes. Yeah. So it's not a question of, yes, certain, no, no, no. Because don't put pressure on, on anyone, yeah. and which is what you're saying. It's yeah. so true. Because um, some people are not used to this situation. Yeah. Yes. And so asking them to, you know, um, start be fit, uh, develop six pack, it's just <laughs> totally, let's just get through this because this is, this is unprecedented. It's like a war the people, yeah, thing. The people who can, who, can, who can do those things, you know, um, start a book, start a new podcast, 
brilliant. That's good for them. Mm. But a lot of people just need to get by the next day. Mm. And so the focus on mental health is actually very important. And, and, and your admonition in terms of you know, don't allow yourself into negative spaces. Negative mental spaces is key because you see that a lot, like, uh, you know, like uh, what would you say about uh, WhatsApp people, are, because now you have so much time on their yeah. hands, everybody's on the phone or on the no, internet. No, but if you go out take a uh, walk, you no, take true. a walk with one or Leave, even yeah. with your children. Yeah. I agree. I take a walk so, now with so their children. It's, it's, it's finding ways yes. of just getting through this period, yeah. I think, is 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 Yeah. Is, is yeah. I... I agree with Emeka for sure. And, you know, I'll use myself as an example. Um, anyone who knows me knows that, you know, I love staying at home. I love my own company. You know, this, as far as I was concerned, I thought I'd been in training for it all my life <laughs> and that it was just going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But I'm sorry, <laughs> the first week, I have to tell you, I struggled because. Again, I forgot the fact that I did everything out of choice. I wanted to stay at home. I wanted to spend time by myself. But now it, it was like it's forced on me. So that affected my mental health for a bit. Um, I suddenly started feeling like the world was closing in on me, like there were doors, there were walls just coming up. So, just but, you know, to I'm able to stay positive. I'm able to think, uh, you know, uh, think outside those um, per perimeters. And so I was able to get myself back. But I do know somebody who's close to me who's struggling right now with this entire situation. I think the biggest, most important uh, area that we must you know, pay attention okay. to his mental health because I can see a lot of people are losing it. And, uh, you know, people think that, oh, the staying at home is really only just about food. It's not just about food. It's about your mental health. And we need to address that. Okay. So, Chuka, mm -hmm. in, in rounding up, because we're out of time, can you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think um, we need this time to decide what we're going to do next. It's, it's really important as a country, as a nation, to to try to think about our future, no matter how difficult it is. You know, like Uche is talking about mental health issues, others who talk about hunger, boredom, everything. But we really need to think about Nigeria. Okay. I want to use the opportunity to reach out to single parents out there because these are indeed challenging times for them. And you are giving tips. And so for me, opportunity, find something you can do with your children, if it's take a walk, you know, if it's just go out, chat with neighbors, it can help take away that stress. Because it's easy when you have the father or mother, but when it's just the father or the, the mother, it's, it's, it's a bit tasking. So. We'll never tire of speaking, just as we hope you'll stay dogged in your desire to see a better society. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Together, we'll keep advocating for a better society, one conversation, one action at a time. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed. It's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.